Hello there, my beautiful book lovers. My name is Kimia and welcome to my book nook. Today, we are going to talk about a series that has been talked about so much on booktube, book talk, bookstagram, your bookstore, any book club. It has been like, you know, just at the top of the list of like almost everyone. And that book is, or the series, it's Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. And this series, oh my God, let me know if you have read them. And if you have, what were your thoughts? Because I love them. So um, this book, this series, um, that we only have the first two books out yet. The third one is coming, I think, early-ish next year. And so it's, it's a fantastic fantasy books. And the reason that I wanted to talk about them, it's because it is one of those books that honestly deserve its own sort of a video because I usually like to like mostly like recommend books in a, like a series and like in, a, in, in like a bunch of books in one um, video. But these books were just so good that I felt that like I should do a, like a very much more of a focus video on them. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, first, we're going to keep this video super um, spoiler free, we're not going to give out any important plots or anything about it. It's really focusing on why I love these books and why I think like anybody that likes fantasy books and series in general should give them a chance. And so without further ado, let's get into them, shall we? So um, these books, they're just, oh my god, where should we start? Let's, let's start with a like a very brief summary. So um, these books are focused on Violet. She is this girl that she sort of like um, grew up in this world that we have like different sort of schools that each person is sort of like set to become like a certain sort of a, like a, like a, a like a job, a career, a future that it's going to have. And then like um, these are schools, like one of them is the, like the main war schools that they are really focused. They are the warriors and they are like um, sort of bonding with the dragons and like that's like the one of them. And then we have the another group that they are like mostly focused on the history and the, like the the knowledge and then there are the scribes like they are the group that really keeping the knowledge alive and trying to keep track of everything then we have like a group that there are healers obviously you always need that then we have another group that they're also sort of a, like a army related group but they're not with dragons they're with other creatures we have another group that they don't have a creatures so there's a, like a bunch of different sort of schools or field or like major um that each kid in this world is sort of ending up with and they're like they pick where they want to go based on what they like and so Violet uh, she is a person that because of her love of books and everything like history and everything uh, because of her dad the relationship that we, she had with her dad she was sort of set to become a scribe and go into that path but then because of different reasons and things that happen her mother really pushes her to go to this like war college war school and to sort of like uh, she believes that like you know she needs to go there she should do that she will be fine in that and everything so we're following her going through this journey to get to this school uh, pass like tests and examination trying to bond with a dragon and then that's a, like the main sort of the story and then there's like other stuff that it's happening in the world that there is like the wars that it's happening and then like the political aspect of the story that we get involved with it so that's sort of like the main plot of the story and the reason that i enjoy this books so much it's let's go with categories let's start with characters characters is a, like the basic one and the very easier one so the reason that i love the characters in this books um it's because every single one of them doesn't matter if they are the main characters or the side character they are a full-fledged character in a sense that they all have their own source of backstory they have their own sort of purpose in this story the thing that they add to it and that's what i love about a good book because to, to me at least in my opinion any book that it's really mostly focused on the like the main characters and the side characters are just there here and there to add a little bit to the story it's it's not as real because like you know even in the real world while we are the main character in our own lives 
um, the other side characters, they are the main character in their own lives, right? And so because of that, in this book, um, while Violet is like the main character, and then we have Zayden, which we'll talk about them, um, but the, all the side characters, they are all so entertaining, even the bad ones. Honestly, like the villain of the story, as much as you hate them, as much as you cannot stand them, but they are still like... 3D characters and they add so much to the story that it's just like I love that about it and even like with Violet even though she's the like the main hero of the care uh, main hero of the book she's not the like the regular sort of a chosen one that she's like just perfect can do everything and just anything that she wants she'll going to like just give it a try and be, be like perfect at it and everything she's not like that she has her own limitation she has her own flaws she has sort of those um internal aspect of her that like she's always like trying to figure out what is the right way what is the wrong way what to do and sometimes she makes mistakes she feels the guilt of it she's trying to deal with it like like all of us that like the stuff that we all go through and that's the reason that I really respect Rebecca for doing that uh for Violet that you see her growing throughout the stories the first book and then the second book that you're seeing this character the main heroine of the story that she's trying to discover herself and see who she is and then like the, the nice part of it is that while she is a person that has her own limitation she doesn't like go through it that like you know if you like work out a little bit more you're going to get stronger and then everything get fixed no it's like sort of looking outside of the box and trying to find well what is a way that we can sort of improve on this situation and make it work and so because of that Violet is just great and then we have Zayden and um Zayden it's oh chef kiss he is so good I uh, I love him because he is the like the main male character that has this hard sort of a shell but inside he is this mushy lovable like a golden hearted person that is really like stand for what he believes for the people that he believes in and the people that like he loves and he cares about and he does anything that he can to protect them to be there for them to support them and I admire him for that so much because he is also such a great partner for everyone honestly like you never see him even though he's the, like the leader of the group he's the one that is like older has more experience and has like a, like he's very like a badass has a lot of powers and very strong but at the same time time you never see him pushing what he think is the right thing on others he always try to like listen and see what everybody's comfortable with what they want to do and like while again there are moments that like he might be pushing towards a certain thing he never like forced it on anyone and that's the reason that like I really admire him and I love to read about him because he's one of those characters that like um it's there to be a main character but not to be the like the main focus all the time and like everything is just coming from him and like the focus is on him all the time and anything that he says will go so I, I love that and like again even like with the villain like the first book the second book it's just like so well done and you get involved with them and again it's not that like you love them you hate them especially with the second book dear god I was just like this close to like do something myself but um, still, like, there are just such alive characters that you really feel the connection there. And so character-wise, it's just wonderful. Like, like I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. And then uh, moving to the world building, which when it comes to a fantasy book, I feel like it's such an important aspect of it. Because a fantasy book, a good fantasy book, it's the one that has a world that makes sense, even though it's a world that doesn't technically exist, right? And with this world, I love it because it's big enough that you feel that it's like outside of our own world. It's not a, per uh, it's not a place that has elements of our own universe, but at the same time, it's small enough that everything makes sense in it. Because like I have read books before that the universe become so big that I feel the author was not sure what to do with it and they're like I mean sometimes it's the, like the decision of the author itself honestly to like sort of like leave it open-ended to sort of be based on what you want to believe or what you imagine that world is which is fine but um sometimes it reached a point that it's honestly like 
create plot holes because like things just elements does not make sense or are not focused on enough to get a grasp on that like how things works how elements are related and like for example like for this world because we have dragons again like it's big enough that you sort of get the sense of like what are these dragons how is the like the bonding working and how is like all of those elements and everything that it's related to that but at the same time it is not too big that like it's just like all of a sudden things are created just because of the plot of the story and so i feel like that's that's wonderful and especially because like as you can see it's one of those books my favorites that like you know it comes with a map of the world and like you know like as a story sort of progress you learn about like all these different parts how they're related what's going on with them and like everything that it's related to the school to the war and the politics of it which i loved about it and so world building great as well and then we move to the plot and when it comes to the plot it is a, so so this book and this story it's not something that you can say it's like completely original because i feel like we have reached a certain point and part of the history that like with every single story and books that we read there are those like fundamental foundation aspect of the story that we have seen before you know like this one if you want to really break it down we have like a heroine she is joining a school or like a, a community a group and then there's like wars and like some war going on and uh, like political elements outside of that community that create some issues and they have to resolve it right like that's the base and foundation of the story and that's something that we have seen it in a lot of different books right but the thing is that i loved and enjoyed these books because they are unique enough that makes you want to read about it more to get into this world a little bit better and a little bit more and to like really learn what's going to happen and what's coming and another thing that i really like is that like while the foundation is there some of the changes has been for better at least in my opinion because i feel like some of the like the tropes and like the, the the normal sort of like cliffhangers or like the plot points that happens in like a lot of the stories for this one have a little bit of a twist to them that makes it more interesting at least in my opinion and that was the reason that when I read the first book because I read the first book maybe a little bit late I was at a point that like people were talking about it but it wasn't as big yet and so when I read it, and by the time that I finished the first book, I was like, I need the second book right now. Because it, especially like it ends at a, like a point, obviously it's a series, so of course there's going to be that like sort of a cliffhanger that you're just like, what just happened? How we're going to let it just be there? And how long should I wait? And then when the second book came, I actually, I pre-ordered the second book and everything. And then by the time that the book got to me, I was in the middle of another series. And like, I, I couldn't sort of stop the other one because it would have been just too confusing and everything. So I was like, okay, I will finish the other one and then I will start. But then after I finished that one, there was some other stuff that I needed to do. So I had a break in between. So like, I was dying. And then by the time that I finally started reading the second book, I finished it in like, what, two days or something. And the thing is like, these books are not like, that small they're not the biggest books that I have read but also like there are not books that like if you want to read in a normal pace you will not finish them in one or two days but because of the pacing it is so engaging that you are going to finish it in one or two days and that's like the thing about the plot that I really enjoy because I feel the world was introduced to us in a, such a nice manner that like at the beginning of the story, while Violet is sort of going through this transition and trying to join the school and everything, there's enough action in it because again, like there's those examination and things that the process that she needs to go through to keep it entertaining, but well, slow enough that for you to sort of get a hang of like what is happening in this world who are these people get to know the characters and like also because like with fantasy world you know like there's always that like some random names and they're like you're not sure how to pronounce so you just pronounce it something that like makes the closest sense to you and so like it is slow enough to get used to all of those things and then by the time that he hit the like the climax of the story then everything is happening but again it's not too fast for you to be lost especially because the foundation has been 
started so strong that you are there you know what's going on you know who's who what's going on and how they're connected and then like everything is happening so like your reading was like super quick and you're just trying to see like what is going to be next and that was the reason that like I enjoy these two books so much and it's one of those books again I highly highly recommend if you love fantasy if you like to read series if you like you know your story to not be sort of concluding one book and want to get more and more out of a world I highly recommend these books because they're entertaining enough to honestly keep you at your seat to sort of like sit and just read it read it read it till you see like it's super late and you have to go and then even then I sort of got it happen to me like I was like just one more chapter and then I was like I really need to sleep um but it's like like that and so I highly recommend to give them a try if you have not read them yet and if you have read them I am very curious to know how you like them if you like these as much as I did if you enjoyed them and especially when it comes to like characters to the plot to the world building if there are things that you feel like have been done right have been done wrong if you because like it's one of those books that um some people didn't like it or like it as much even some of my friends they were like oh it was okay and I was like no please don't say that um but still I, I'm very excited to hear what were your thoughts about this book and so till the next video happy reading